Well, hello there. It's Sue Sho from The Curious Frugal. And I wanted to talk about Christmas because Halloween is over. <laughs> so it's practically Christmas season. And actually, it snowed today. So I'm very much in the Christmas spirit already. And I haven't started with, the, with Christmas songs yet, but I'm sure it'll be here soon. Um, I wanted to go over some of the things in this post. So this is an epic post. It has 100, 100 free or frugal Christmas ideas for you to try. And a lot of them, the majority of these are doable no matter what your situation is like this year in terms of the pandemic and social distancing. So most of these are very applicable no matter how socially distanced you have to be. Um, Okay, and they are so kid friendly, your kids are going to love this. So it's it's nice to think about and have something to look forward to because it's been a crappy year <laughs> for everybody. Um, and these are still things that can make it feel like Christmas and like the holidays, even when you're away from people. So let's get to it. Okay, so holiday lights tour. I know that as soon as Halloween was over, people started putting up their Christmas decorations and Christmas lights. Like people are like full on into it this year. <laughs> um, so bundle up the kids in the car and go for a family drive when it gets dark. Drive your neighborhood or find out the best neighborhoods in your city and go for a festive drive. Something that someone did in our city is they actually put together a, a map of all the places, all the houses in the city with the best Christmas displays. So you can follow this map and just go around to the neighborhoods and find these, you know, like over the top, but awesome houses and your kids will love it. Um, okay, make homemade hot chocolate. So not with the mix, but with actual melted chocolate on the stove. If you wanna get really into it, you can make your own marshmallows. Um, I've got a list of Christmas movies. Uh, make a popcorn garland. That is like such a classic thing. It's actually great for little kids for uh, using their uh, fine motor skills and dexterity. And then you can eat some of the popcorn while you're doing it too. Of course, Christmas baking, uh, host a cookie swap will be a little bit harder this year. But what you can do is you can have a virtual cookie swap. You can and bake cookies at the same time. You can even have your videos on and it, it's kind of fun. You can have Christmas music going at one of your places um, and then you can drop off uh, a dozen cookies or whatever to the friends that are involved in this virtually and drop it off on their front, front step. Skating is generally pretty good as long as the skating rinks around you are still um, usable, which they should be. Uh, make a handmade Christmas gift winter scavenger hunt um you know kids get so into to winter like it's hard to be a downer about the first snow here because my daughter was so into it like she was just like clapping and like she said it was like wearing a snow globe of course there's references to arendelle like how could there not be <laughs> um so a winter scavenger hunt would be something awesome for your kids to do so i've included a link to that for you um, you can have a board game night, a candlelit dinner is an awesome idea, um, a Christmas pajama day. So pick a day where everyone gets into their Christmas jam jams and just like chills out. You know, that could be the same day as the hot chocolate day and watching Christmas movies. Um, you can Your kids can write a letter to Santa and the address is right here and you will get, your kids will get a letter from Santa written back to them. Um, you can have a puzzle day, build a snowman, a snow family, snow angels, make a playlist of your favorite Christmas songs. So curate your own list, set up a bird feeder. This has been an awesome winter activity for us well, year round, but the birds are like crazy active in the winter because they're like, I'm cold, feed me. Um, so it's really fun to look out and learn about, you know, the animals in your neighborhood. You can make a gingerbread house. That's super fun. You can learn to make candles with your kids. I've also linked to that. Tons of other things. So I'm not going to go through all 100 of them because that's a lot. <laughs> so read the rest and pick out some that you want to do. I'm sure it's going to get you more into the Christmas spirit if you're not already. And I would love to also hear your ideas too. So you can drop a comment down below.